Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Michi Makes Up. As promised, today we're gonna do a wear test on Dior's new foundation called Dior Forever Natural Nude. And I have the shade 1.5N. It is neutral undertones. In the middle of winter, I am 1N in Dior complexion products. Um, so this is going to be actually a little bit too warm for me at this time. However, I would very much like to wear this foundation throughout spring and early days of summer. So I thought going half a shade up is going to benefit me um, and I'll be able to wear it as my skin also gets some sun. So this foundation has actually a lot of um, skin benefits to it. We will take a look at the product description on the website and then I'll, I'll put it on my face. And as you can see, I actually have some makeup on already. I have eye makeup and uh, concealer that's already blended out, which is why there might be a lot more reflectiveness on camera. Um, this is what happens with the concealer before I actually set it. So why don't we take a look at the description on the website and then we will get into actually applying the foundation. The website description of the product is that uh, Dior Forever has reinvented the natural complexion with natural nude foundation. It is a 24 hour perfection with a nude skin sensation thanks to its formula enriched with 96% natural origin ingredients and concentrated floral skincare. Fresh and lightweight, the Dior Forever Natural Nude Foundation's texture offers a natural and luminous finish with no mask-like effect. Allowing the skin to breathe from morning to night, the complexion is flawlessly even for 24 hours nonstop. The skin is hydrated and radiant as if plumped. Some of the benefits that the test subjects from the clinical test they did stated that they have experienced after four weeks of use, hydrated skin, heightened skin radiance, more even skin, pores as if tightened, and improved complexion quality. Um, that seems to be just, you know, there's a lot going on with this product. Um, I did use it a couple of times before this wear test, and I will say, you know, they're saying it's 24 hours, but I feel like my natural oils do come through, and certainly I wouldn't have this on for 24 hours. Um, I do think it has a really good chance of lasting fairly well throughout the day without falling apart uh, and becoming too oily. But yeah, I'm not sure about the 24 hours uh, claim here, but I do feel like this is this feels really nice on the skin. Let's just put it that way um, I will have some checkpoints to show you how the foundation oxidizes and you know how it begins to change on the skin over the course of several hours So let's put the foundation on one pump is enough for me and this foundation I find It is emollient and as you can see the product is kind of just sliding down the back of my hand however the texture is quite creamy next to the other liquid foundation I have that I use frequently, which is um, Surratt's Dewdrop Foundation. And in comparison to Dewdrop, this is much creamier. So using the Koyudo foundation brush, I'm just going to pounce it on, pounce it, and then I do small swipes downward. And as I'm putting it on too, I feel like it spreads like a mousse almost. So this is with one pump of the foundation and I have not set it yet. Um, I do agree that this is a natural radiant finish. Um, there is no, you know, there is a little bit of lumosity, but it's not like a very luminous or very radiant. I think it does, for the most part, look fairly natural. I'm going to set the foundation and I'm going to try two different things here. On the right side of my cheek, I'm only going to set the foundation using the Dior Backstage Powder No Powder. Um, this is in the shade 1N. And I will uh, put it on the right side of my face to see how it works with the foundation, if it keeps things, you know, pretty under control, under oil control and pretty intact um, throughout the test. And then on the uh, left side of my face, I'm going to use my usual Chantecai Loose Setting Powder. And on top of that, I will add also the Backstage Powder No Powder. 
Um, from wearing it a few times, I actually really, really enjoy this powder. I do think it works well with foundation, and now I'm curious how it performs by itself or on top of um, another setting powder. Um, both actually have mattifying effects, except this gives you a subtle radiance. So I did turn down the ring light. Um, I'm gonna come closer now that both sides have setting powder on. And it is hard to tell, even looking um, on my vanity mirror, which side has what. Like they both actually look very, very similar. Um, I, I would say this side maybe looks a little bit more matte than this side. Um, it does feel a bit more matte as well. Um, there is some tackiness here. But otherwise, you know, without nitpicking at it, it's just hard to tell. So I'll finish my makeup, then I'll come back uh, before we head into our first checkpoint. So this is the finished look. Um, I have on my eyes today, Pat McGrath, Celestial Divinity. And I have this shade here on my cheeks, as well as on my lids. I think it's a really pretty pink shade, and it goes with this um, sweater just perfectly. For lips, I have Elmez's Beige Ebloui. This is their limited edition shade that just came out um, several weeks ago. And before we go, a few more details about the sunscreen. It is made in France with a shelf life of 12 months. You are supposed to shake it before you actually um, apply the foundation. And I think there is a bead in here that helps you know, move through the product and blend everything in. It also has sunscreen, a broad spectrum SPF of 35. All right, I'm gonna come back in a couple of hours for my first check-in and we'll see how everything looks at that time. But this is a beautiful foundation. Of the handful of times I've worn it, um, I always notice just how smooth everything looks um, after the application and especially when I combine it with the um, backstage powder no powder um, I love this powder it's fantastic uh, this powder by the way is made in Italy actually and has a shelf life of 12 months see you guys in a few hours hey guys this is the five hour check-in and on the right side I have Dior backstage powder no powder I use that as the setting powder on my left side, I used uh, Shantakai's Loose Setting Powder first and then put Dior's Powder No Powder um, as a finishing product on top. Uh, I would say both sides, just looking on my vanity mirror, uh, looking under just regular lights, not the studio light, I can barely tell the difference. Both sides look very smooth. My natural oils have come through, so I, I'm definitely a lot shinier um, than when I just finished my makeup, but everything still looks really smooth. You know, there's no obvious breakdown from the foundation. Um, usually where I see it happen first is going to be the nose, but everything has actually held up really, really well. And when I touch the two sides of my face. There is a little bit more transfer of the product, whether it's the foundation or the powder um, on the right side versus the left. Yeah, it's a little bit shinier in comparison. So I think it does help to do or to have a maybe mattifying setting powder and then put on Dior's powder no powder for that added smoothness and radiance. Um, I will say though, I think the um, Dior powder does have good oil control because after cooking and all the heat in the kitchen, I still feel like this is, this looks still pretty put together. All right, I'll come back in a couple of hours for the final check-in, see you then. Hey guys, I'm back for the last check-in. We're eight hours in, so this is a full day wear test. Um, I'm gonna come in closer to see what has happened in the past three hours. 
I think the face for the most part looks about the same. There's a bit more breakdown here uh, in these areas. I think that's to be expected just because I've had sips of water in the past couple of hours. Um, around the nose here still looks really good. Uh, not much redness has come through that's noticeable. And let's just see how much oil has come through. So what I have here is two pieces of oil blotting paper and we're just gonna see if one side um, has better oil control than the other, especially I'm interested in the left side because I have both a uh, matte setting powder and the finishing powder on top. So we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll put it to the test. Let's go ahead and blot some oil. And this is the red side. You can see I'm less shiny with just one once over. And then the left side. I think the left side might have better oil control with two products on rather than one. I'm still fairly happy with how the right side held up because if that radiant powder is not doing a really good job with oil control, it's definitely gonna be a lot shinier than this. And after blotting it, a lot of that excess oil has been absorbed, but the foundation has still held on. So that's really important too, because if you're out and about, like midday, you're doing not even a touch up, you're just putting this over some oily areas, you can still depend on your foundation staying in place and not you know, being moved or basically blotted away along with the oil. So I think that's really pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. There's still radiance there. It doesn't look tired, you know, too oxidized. And, and it's like beyond just light touch-ups. You might as well take it all off to, to put it back on if you want to look fresh again. Yeah, going in all over on the left side, it's less tacky and I know I mentioned that in my second check-in but I think less tackiness so less transfer overall and I think better oil control. So my final verdict for the foundation is that it wears very well all day long, has a nice natural radiance, um, the areas that are usually pretty problematic because of just facial movement right here and here. Uh, I'm just impressed with how, how much it's held up. As for the Dior powder, it does an excellent job with oil control and giving you that radiance. Uh, I think this combination looks really, really pretty. I think if you have a favorite mattifying setting powder, I recommend you do use that and use this as the finishing powder for added oil control and of course if you want the radiance, which I have been enjoying very much. But if you only have this powder with you, you can definitely use this as your setting powder as well and it does work um, throughout the day. I have uh, oily combination skin and that's why I think having uh, a mattifying powder to put on first is probably more helpful for me, but if you're normal skin or dry skin even, you could probably just uh, use this and be, be fine with that. So hopefully you found this wear test helpful. Love to get your thoughts below. I do love the foundation and of course this powder. Um, you'll probably hear me talk about both of these in the uh, upcoming March Favorites video. I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys are doing well and having a good start to the week. Bye.